What is going on LEGO Investor? So today we're going to talk about a set that I truly believe in. This set is absolutely awesome. I think LEGO knocked it out of the park with this set and I truly believe this is the best set in this theme and I do not think they will make a better set than this one. So this set is the LEGO Super Mario Mighty Bowser. This set is absolutely epic. I love how large they made this Bowser and Bowser is just an awesome display character, especially at this size. So they did a great job making this set. It, abs it absolutely looks like Bowser and they went really large, which was very, very smart. And I think that's why this set is the going to be the best Mario set ever made. So I truly believe that the Mario theme is the at one of the absolute worst investing themes ever. Mario just doesn't really have the demand. It's got the nostalgia factor, but that doesn't drive sales. This is more for kids, personal building, not investing. If if you know you could army build with this, it might do decent for adults, but it's not Star Wars. So it's just and and generally Mario sets are way, way overpriced. So that's the problem with this set, is this set is listed at 270. That is what's holding this set back right now. And I truly believe that, well, it's probably all the Mario sets are overpriced probably due to the licensing cost. And that's that's what Lego has an issue with because they have to price it so high to make up for those costs. So this should be a $230 set, maybe $240 max, but $270, that's just really pushing it. So it's got... 2,807 pieces, which a price point per piece of 10 cents, which is honestly pretty decent. And I think it's it's a phenomenal build. I true I can't emphasize that enough. But let's take a look at how the Mario theme has been doing so we can kind of gauge where I think this might go. So we've got, let's see, some Bowser sets that are out right now some of you are retired so this one i'm kind of shocked on like the bowser's castle boss battle that was a hundred dollars and this is a it's got a value of 144 i bet it's not clearing that on ebay but it's just like what's the demand like what made this set why is this like one of the one-off mario sets that are it has gone up in profit it is it just that bowser minifigure yeah, okay. 100% it's that Bowser minifigure. That that that's driving the set. If that if that wasn't there, it'd still be $100. Okay. That makes sense why they valued it there. But let's take a look how it's doing on eBay. So we've got let's see, 125 plus 11 shipping, 144. We don't know what they accepted, so way less than that. 163 plus maybe 15 shipping plus fees. So yeah, these sets are barely clear in 140, and it looks like a lot of uh, the demand for the set is that one Bowser figure that's put in the profit. Again, Mario sets are super risky. They just do not do well. There's always those one-offs like this, you know, one figure, one set does well, but generally all the sets do pretty, pretty terrible. And so this is like one of those sets that I'm just, I can't figure out why this set has done well. Like the minifig alone has got a value of $12, but what with this set is making it a value of 72. So it had a retail price of 20. It's got a value of 72 right now. So let's check it, check out how it's doing on eBay, of course. So we got 64, 79, free shipping. So yeah, way less value than the 70, $72. But it's like, what's driving this set? I'm shocked it's not $30 to $40 to hit like $67 on eBay. It's a little shocking. If you know what's going on with this set, please comment down below. But I, I, I just can't, can't figure it out. And let's take a look at some of the regular Mario sets so we can get a better idea. We've just got so many. And this is, and like I said, this is for personal, for kids. For adults, there's just no demand for it, and that's why it's a bad investment. And generally, they're overpriced. So let's see. 
we can see how some of these sets are doing. The gift bundle, I'm not going to look at that one because there's a free gift with it that I can't figure out is driving the set. But we've got, yeah, all the individual characters. Just you're looking at maybe five bucks profit, but you're, you're not going to clear that on eBay. So, yeah, like this one, 2020, $20 retail. It's currently valued at 22 Like all these sets just are not, the value is not there for this theme, and the demand is not there. Is not there. The Bowser Castle Boss Battle, which we just looked at, that one went up in price, which was shocking, but it was clear it's that minifigure. And again, Bowser is an awesome figure, and that's why they chose to make it in a very large set, which was genius of them. But all the other sets, these are just terrible, terrible numbers. So I hope you're seeing that the Mario theme is not a good investment. You get those one-offs, but it's just too risky. It's not, it's got, it, the nostalgia factor will not carry this into pro, uh, profit, and you should avoid it. So let's take a look at how it's doing on eBay right now. So eBay, we've got, obviously it's 270, 200 plus bought this month. So that's honestly pretty decent for this price point and for a Mario set. So there is some demand there. Again, I will buy it if it's 180, maybe $200, but 180 would be my comfort zone. But this is a phenomenal set. And I think if I picked it up for 180, I could clear a hundred dollar profit. Now that profit will take a while because it is a terrible theme. It, it could take maybe three years to hit that hundred dollar profit. But since it's such an awesome display piece, you know, we might be able to hit it in, in two years. There is, is that potential. But everyone that has bought this set gave it just amazing reviews. And I've watched a lot of YouTube videos. A lot of investors agree. Just like the display factor and the build of this Bowser is just phenomenal. And Lego knocked it out of the park. And that's why I think there's a potential for a $100 profit on this set. So I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on the set. How do you think it will do in retirement? Are you investing in it? Do you think it could hit a hundred dollar profit if we got it on a massive sale? And just always be aware, it might not retire in 2024. If this set continues to do well and inventory starts to dry up, Lego will keep producing these, extend it another year because like like I said, Mario's a weak theme, so they need a heavy hitter. And I think this is the heavy hitter, which I do not think they will ever make a better set than this. You could get a giant Yoshi, but the display factor of Yoshi compared to Bowser, Bowser will always win. I don't think, I don't think any other character could beat this. So love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this. But as always, please do your own research, have some fun, make some money. Video is not financial advice. Any statements made are my views and is for entertainment purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. Do your own research before making any financial investments.